tonight in our Detroit 2020 series against all odds. It's about another Detroit high school left for dead. We're told many of these kids don't see a parent bring home a steady paycheck that on top of the blight and an overall bad reputation put this local high school in the losing column. But this week, an organization called Life Remodel and a big three automaker engineered a transformation. Welcome to the east side of Detroit, home to Osborne High School. The rap here used to be pretty bad. Terrible students, terrible teachers. They don't really care about the education. And the surrounding environment, not much better. Blocks of rundown homes, dangerous streets, and hearts filled with despair and broken dreams. It was just like a desert. Nothing going on for the, nothing going on for the city of the area. But this summer, that dark imagery began to fade. Grab some tape. An army of General Motors volunteers ditched their suits and ties for these brightly colored t-shirts to bring hope and change. But why is this near and dear to your heart? It's near and dear to my heart because um, my belief is that if we don't change education in metropolitan Detroit, then nothing is going to change. Vivian Picard heads up the GM Foundation, which pledged nearly $30 million to turn around seven Detroit area high schools. With the help of the United Way, we've showcased three of them, Hamtramck, Cody, and River Rouge. Then last year, GM teamed up with Life Remodel and a long list of other companies to overhaul Cody High. Now they're back, this time at Osborne High. You can see over here the beautification over in this corner oh, here yeah. where they have really made a difference. This courtyard used to be filled with debris. Now it's gorgeous and inviting, all thanks to an idea by the GM Student Corps, started by the auto giant three years ago. It's where we go into 11 schools in Greater Detroit, one in Flint, one in Pontiac, and we hire 10 high school students, and we partner them with two to four GM retired executives. They work on a project for 10 weeks in the summer. This courtyard is one of them. It teaches hard work, discipline, and how to finish what you start. I toured the outside where everyone was using elbow grease to paint and make what's old new again. All this new equipment provided by GM or their suppliers to transform blight into beauty. And the inside is shaping up too. Now this is pretty cool what they've done here. They have repurposed this wood. This wood here is actually from the bleachers and this is the actual old gym floor. So they're taking a little bit of the old Osborne forward. And the GM impact is major. We did a story on Cody graduate Brittany G during her senior year. She too was part of the student corps. Like, I feel like I have to be the one who made a change. I can't just sit around and wet on a handout. Her grandmother died from a stray bullet fired by a man being carjacked in front of her home. We covered the story on Channel 7. Thanks to GM's mentorship, this quiet girl filled with heartache and fear is now a leader and college bound, ready to spread her wings. When we first met Brittany AG, she would not look at you. She would not, when you when she spoke, you could barely hear her. Her confidence wasn't there, uh, and we just had to make sure that she could do the things that she was capable of, but she didn't know it yet. And like Brittany, these GM Corps students from Cody are feeling more pride in their school and community, and the momentum is catching like wildfire. People here really do care, and as you can tell, I mean, it's a lot of people here that really do care. <laughs> it's better. It'll make it better. It'll make the school better. <laughs> Yeah, certainly making a difference. Now, this project is so special. Even GM CEO Mary Barra came out to the site this week and actually did some work. As for the students, at the end of the 10 weeks when their project is complete, they'll uh, step before GM's executive vice president, Mark Royce, and the entire GM staff and show what they've accomplished. It's certainly a proud moment they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives, no doubt. And especially that confidence they gain from a job well done, a job completed, a mission accomplished. And in their community, yeah, exactly. they're making a difference. So their confidence is what's really impressive about Absolutely. all that. Absolutely. All right, good. A big gift.